Hi guys, so I'm at the Orlando International Airport. I haven't stepped a foot into the airport in like two years. The last time I came to an airport, it was probably summer of 2019. And I'm here to pick up my grandma right now. So let's see how the airport is looking like during COVID in 2021. Here's my dad and here's my mom. Oh my god, I have not come here in forever and I always love these things. So let's just walk backwards. Look, my state has the number one beach. The airport seems pretty empty. Look, well, it's 11 o'clock right now. So like I understand why it's empty. Oh, it's not that empty. Look, there's people over there. And there's people over here. Never mind. It's not that empty. These places are pretty full. Oh, but there's no social distancing. Look, everyone has their mask. Oh, I see someone without a mask. Right now in Florida, I'm not sure if the whole United States is like this right now, but um, there's a law that if you're like vaccinated, fully vaccinated, you could be maskless. It depends on where exactly you are. Since it is 11 o'clock, I'm not sure if it's always like this is closed now. Like I said, I haven't been to the airport in literally two years. So right now I'm like pretty shocked to see everything closed. But since it is 11 o'clock at nighttime, I want to assume that's why. Oh, look, there's an Orlando City bar. I think that's old, but like I said, I really don't remember. And look at how empty. Now that's a new employee entrance. The employee entrance did not have that before. And, well, this is pretty much the same. Let me go find my grandma's flight. There should be like a little law saying that these stores should be 24 7 because look at all these people here at the airport and they could be probably shopping right now but since these stores are not 24 7 then people can't buy it and look everyone's wide awake open just because it's 11 p.m doesn't mean that everyone's asleep so i think that these places should be open 24 7 when at the airport look everything's literally closed um, the airport in comparison to other times, I feel like it's a little bit less empty, but it's really not that empty. I was expecting it to be more emptier. Look guys, this is my favorite part of the airport. It's this guy. He's a sleeping man. You can't wake him up. He's a fake. He's not real. Look. He looks so realistic though. Well, we're seatless. All the seats are taken. <laughs> And for COVID preventatives, I won't be sitting down as well. But remember, this is a place, an international airport, people from literally all over the world. So I don't really want to take the risk in sitting down, you know? When flying international, I really recommend you guys to check, like triple check all the flying policies because my grandma had a little issue when coming. Okay, so when my dad bought my grandma's ticket, he bought it through a travel agency and that travel agency lady didn't tell my dad that he that she had to fill out some like health form online so when she came to the airport in Nicaragua she wasn't they were making a problem about it for her boarding the plane at first and then but luckily she had data on her phone because the Nicaragua phones are like different no one really has data on their phones people just connect to the building's wi-fi since having a phone with data is pretty expensive for someone in nicaragua but luckily she had data so she was able to fill the application on spot and the person who was pulling her wheelchair was very very kind because like as you know sometimes not everyone is nice and not everyone will help you and you know like a grandma isn't really good with technology so luckily 
he had him to help um, her fill out the form because in Nicaragua only the passenger could enter the airport not a family member not a friend like no one like it doesn't matter like who you are even like my grandma who's in a wheelchair they would not let my aunt in so no one who is not the passenger can enter so i really really suggest you making sure everything is right in your flight because my uncle literally lost his flight so he had to buy another plane ticket so yeah guys please 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 triple check your flight make sure everything is right because i don't want you guys to miss out a flight especially right now with covid plane tickets are really 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 like extremely expensive in comparison to before so please guys save your money make sure that your plane ticket is correct <laughs> That looks so cool. I really want to ride that one day. So now that my grandma is here, my final thoughts on the airport is that, well, I see frequent hand sanitizer stations. I wouldn't say there's a lot of hand sanitizer stations, but I would say there's a decent amount. You have to walk uh, a little bit to find the next station. But the cool thing about the hand sanitizers here is that they have like a little like uh, UV light, a little purple LED light. I I'm not sure which type of light it is exactly, but there's a little light. So it's like double sanitation at the same time, So which is good. So now that my grandma's here and we've walked what we're gonna walk through the airport for right now, I think this is the end of the vlog. So thank you guys for watching till the end. I'll see you next time if God permits. Bye.